Looking for cheap MT and much 16 coin? Head on down to logger.com. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JRob447 back at it again with some NCAA Football 14. And guys, 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 my bracket is absolutely busted. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about our game coming up against FCS Northwest. This could probably mean any FCS team, probably the Portland Pilots, probably uh, Sacramento State. Who knows, man? I wish NCAA gave you the option to add teams to like uh, the dynasty mode instead of just swapping it out for another team. Because if you could add teams, you could add Georgia Southern because they did move up in the division. Same thing for Appalachian State, but you can't. Also, previous NCAAs had FCS teams. I remember I was playing with Hofstra one year. Hofstra, okay? But nevertheless, we're going up against FCS Northwest, and they're kicking the ball, and Ryan will it be back there to return. He's pretty good. He does not have that breakout speed like Devin Campbell. So, takes it about two yards deep and gets out to the 30-yard line. So, Colin Michael hands it off to Ryan Willoughby. Who gets tackled in the backfield for seven yard loss. That is not how we want to start the game. So Michael dropping back again is going to find Jacob Martinez for the 17 yard reception. That is almost a first down. So handing it off to Jordan Johnson for his first carry of the game. This one's going to be a first down and more. Jordan Johnson's got the edge going down the sideline. He's going to get into the end zone. The third play from scrimmage. Results in a touchdown for your Buffalo Bulls. Jordan Johnson has become an excellent runner. Some some might say he's even doing better than Anthony Taylor. But don't don't get me started, okay? And that's Max Parisi making the touchdown saving tackle on Mark Smith right there. So our defense isn't doing that great against this FCS team. We should I mean we do get that tackle in the backfield, but I want this to be a straight-up blowout. I don't want them to put points on the board, okay? So Stovall drops back the pass, finds Holt. Holt's get tackled, and he it's going to make it a first and goal. This is not the type of game I want. I want a blowout game. Stovall's going to run, and he's just going to waltz into the end zone for the touchdown. That is not something we wanted to happen. This game is tied, y'all. It's tied against the FCS team. This is the same Buffalo Bulls team that we gave Arizona a run for their money. In the third quarter, we almost had the game, but, you know, we threw it away. So, Jacob Martinez catches the pass for 16 yards right there, making it a first down and 10. So, another handoff to Jordan Johnson makes a guy miss and breaks the tackles for about five yards. So, second down and five, a play-action play, and this one's going to go to Shrek, who picks up the first down on that reception. So, Michael starting to look really good this first quarter. So, he's dropping back again. He's going to find his receiver, Martinez. Him and Martinez have been clicking a lot this game. So, third down and seven for the Bulls. And that is another completed pass to Shrek for the first down. So, first down and ten. Another halfback counter play. This time, it only results in about three yards for Jordan Johnson right there. That was not great execution. So, second and seven. We're going trips. Colin Michael dropping back is going to find Ron Willoughby, who fights for the extra yards, gets a 23-yard reception, making it first and goal from the five. So first and goal, this one is a read option that puts Jordan Johnson at the one, but we did have a negative play. So third down and five, third down and goal from the five. That's a completed pass to Jacob Martinez, who gets into the end zone for the score. Jacob Martinez has been doing all, great all day, and that was a safety. Now, if you don't know what happened, basically what just happened was, it was a kickoff, They the guy muffed it, and he tried to recover it. He fell on it in the end zone, and I guess that results in a safety. He muffed it before, he muffed it, when he was outside of the end zone and recovered it when he was inside. So in college, you guys know, if you fall on the ball, if you're down when you have the ball, that's a, you're down. You're down by contact. It's not no down by contact rule. So technically, it was a safety and that resulted in two points. So Jordan Johnson taking a carry, trucks. A defender right there picks up five yards. So second and five, another read option. Jordan Johnson just trucking his way through these defenders like it's nothing. So first and go, Colin Michael finds Jordan Johnson. 
for the touchdown, a nine-yard touchdown reception for Jordan Johnson. He has been doing great all day. Same thing with Colin Michael. Our defense got to step up too, though. So with three minutes left in the second quarter, we're up big, 23-7. to And that is the D we need. Luke Stavall tackled in the backfield. So it's going to be first 10 for us. Here's another handoff to Jordan Johnson to the outside. Jukes a man out of his boots for five yards right there. So third down and eight. Colin Michael dropping back. Completes it to Willoughby. But that's not going to be enough for the first down. Let's see if we roll the dice. And we do so. Colin Michael completes it to Ron Willoughby for the first down. Colin Michael has been looking like a Heisman candidate today. But it's probably because we're going up against an FCS opponent. All right. So another completed pass. This time it's to J.R. Zazara who breaks the tackle and finds his way into the end zone for a 46-yard reception. Colin Michael, 12 for 13. 197 yards, three touchdowns. So at the end of this, we're just going to loft this one up there for Shrek. Shrek catches it, diving for that one. And that adds, that adds another great play for us right there. So as we enter the third quarter, you guys see our defense. We started letting up a little bit. We cannot let up because we do not want to go down to no FCS ball club. And that was a great tackle by Kirill Threats to get Jason Houston in the backfield. So Luke Stavall dropping back. Third and six. Gonna throw this one up and his receiver cannot bring it down. So that's gonna make it fourth and six. They settle for a field goal. So we're into the fourth quarter. We're up big. We're basically controlling this game. We don't have to do anything fancy. We already know we got the game. I just want to pad my, my um, team stats so it can make us look even better. Okay? It's all about the um, FPI rankings. FPI, you know, football power index. I believe that's what it stands for. If I am wrong, please tell me in the comments because you guys are great for doing research. I mean, I be getting names wrong. Y'all be like, no, J-Rob, it's not, it's not the name. I'm like, thanks. Thank you so much. So Michael drops back the pass. Find Jordan Johnson who breaks the tackle, but he can only get back to the line of scrimmage. So third and 10, another completed pass by Colin Michael. What can this man not do he is doing absolutely amazing if only he did this amazing against arizona we would have won that game we would have pulled off the upset so another read option coming this time colin michael pulls it from jordan johnson and he finds his way into the end zone so add a rushing touchdown onto the ledger for michael as he's having a spectacular day so we're up 37 and 19 and why not Zach Nicholas gets into the end zone as well everybody getting touchdowns we like Oprah out here you get a touchdown you get a touchdown you get a touchdown and we got Cody Merchant in the game our second string quarterback he's gonna throw this one to JT Burgess you get a touchdown you get a touchdown everybody is getting touchdowns we score 50 on FCS Northwest we get the victory here in Buffalo Final score is 51 to 19. Everybody's having a great day because we had a great game. And honestly, Colin Michael, obviously, player of the game, 21 for 27. Four total touchdowns. Unbelievable. That's what we need out of our quarterback every time. What you guys did not see, he did have a couple of picks. But I edit those out. You guys see he did have one interception. And Cody Merchant also had a touchdown as well. Jordan Johnson only had 10 carries. But they were great carries. And one of them resulted in a touchdown. You guys see Jacob Martinez was the man today. Same thing with Ron Willoughby. J.R. Zazara had that big catch. Marcus McGill was pretty quiet. And our defense did pretty good as well. So anyway, it's been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.